this week we were talking about uh, Samoa Joe coming into NXT and how uh, you know he was in Ring of Honor and he was in TNA and it got me thinking about um, wrestlers from from other locations and other promotions and other styles coming into WWE. NXT has been a great example of this. Um, we've had all these different styles coming in and uh, meshing in a uh, in a wonderful fashion. So here is my question. Uh, it's just a it's just a, a fun little fun little thought experiment, if you will. Um, and that is if you could pluck any wrestler from any era and have them compete today, they are in their prime, top of their game, and they are going to compete in NXT and WWE, who would it be? The only caveat is that this person, their style has to be able to mesh well. With the current style, hmm. Hmm. I got to it. Kick thing, to kick things off, I'm sorry. Go Sorg. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna have you do it. Um, uh, I I'm going to pick uh, the Dynamite Kid. I feel like he hmm. would thrive hmm. in the current environment. I think it would be a lot of fun to see him uh, match up against a lot of the current wrestlers, and uh, he would rise to the occasion. So that's my choice, Sork. Uh, I would go Mr. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Great that technician, good one. very good, very energetic. Um, and I think he would adapt. I think he would he would mesh pretty well with things. Uh, yeah, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, I think he would make an impact. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Who's next? I, I I'm I'm gonna go a little bit out of the norm and I will say delirious. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I could you imagine like delirious interrupting an authority promo in the beginning of the show? Wouldn't that be the best thing in the world? <laughs> I'm into amazing. that. It would be amazing. All right. Uh Riz, do you have one? I I have two that I'm debating, uh, but I'm going to go with my my uh, first instinct and say Owen Hart. That hmm. was my second guess. Yeah. Yeah, he was going to be, he's going to be, he was, if he was in NXT today, he'd probably be amazing at it. Um, just his style, his the, the way he gets a hold of a crowd is just amazing. Uh, and I, 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 won't, I don't want to take anybody else's, so I, I, I'm going to save my other, other guess, my other answer for this one. But go ahead. Bo. You didn't go. Bobby. I didn't go. Bobby. Uh, I would go with Scott Hall, but as Razor Ramon. Oh. <laughs> you not as Razor Scott Hall. Not, not as I would bring Razor but... Ramon back, yes. I, I think he would work in NXT. That kind of character, um, his style of wrestling, you know. I mean, they said he might be a trainer there, so um, why not? You know, I mean, um, well, maybe, yeah, until that thing happened. I think, I think mm -hmm. that thing, probably. yeah, yeah, he might have come out, but I mean, he was going to be if <laughs> if he's not, <laughs> so yeah, as Razor Ramon. <laughs> awesome. That is, a, that is a really good question, though. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think of all the good wrestlers and I'm like thinking of everybody in the attitude era who'd probably do a lot better now than in the attitude era. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of wrestlers who, who were good enough to be champion, but never were Mantar back in the day. Mantar. Yes. Mantar. <laughs> Man, Man Mountain Rock. <laughs> um, I would love to see in 2015 in NXT techno team 2000. That is uh, Blake and Murphy. <laughs> You're actually okay. Yep, Bobby yep, nailed it. Bobby, Bobby, Points. Bobby nailed it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You yep. nailed on Ed. Yeah. Now with seizures. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Japanese fighting seizure wrestlers. See, that was a good question. I think that I hyped that really up appropriately. Question. There, I'll be. Thanks, guys. So uh, you can tell us uh, who would you like to see plucked from their own time period that if, uh, in, that you think would be able to do a run and keep up with NXT today. Let us know on the Twitters uh, hashtag WMS Big Question and follow us at Mayhem Show.